Are we live? Are we live yet? Hey everybody! It is our final baby shower, our final baby shower of 2023. I'm on the 3G network, so I'm going to give everyone a few minutes um, to join before I start talking. I think a few people last week um, said they didn't see the notification until a few minutes later. So maybe I'll give you a little tour or visual of where I am. Flip over. So that's our tool shed. One of our fantastic volunteers works out of there. That's our hospital. Uh, we have our admin area there, uh, a bat cave over there, uh, a gazebo, a raptor house. Um, one of our education ambassador, uh, Marmalade. She's a marmot. You can find her on our webpage. She's in here right now. Hey, Tracy, thanks for joining us. And I'm gonna flip back to me. I see some people joining now, so I think we're connected. So I'll get into it. Uh, welcome to our final baby shower of 2023. Um, but we saved the best for last. I think tonight is gonna be the best of, well, they were all great, but tonight's gonna be extra special. Hey, Stefan Gibbons, thanks for joining us. So while everyone's joining, please um, say hi to the chat or say hi to the chat, say hi in the chat. Tell us where you're watching from. Um, is it your first time? Is it your fifth time? Why did you decide um, to come and see our final baby shower this evening? If it's your first time joining, uh, my name is Becky. I've been your host for the past five weeks. I can't believe it, time flies. Uh, in the chat tonight, one of our wildlife rehabbers, Melanie, she'll be popping in some really inf interesting information about um, the animals we're going to be seeing, some links, things like that. Um, in the feeding with me tonight, another one of our wildlife rehabbers, um, Brianne, uh, we, she was with me last year also for the final baby shower of 2022, I believe. Cecilia Keys is watching from Calgary. Hey, Cecilia, thanks for joining. Uh, Brianne and I last year were feeding fawns. So yeah, again tonight in the final with me is Brianne. So uh, we started off uh, five weeks ago. We started with an adorable porky pet. You guys, I just went and saw him tonight. He is so much bigger and stronger than five weeks ago. So thanks for donating to his care five weeks ago. He was our first animal. And then we moved on to some stinking cute skunk kits. Uh, and then after that, uh, three ferruginous hawks. I also saw them today and they, I couldn't believe how much they've grown. Didn't even realize it was the same birds. So they're doing great. Um, last week we had the American Robin, the two stages nestling to fledgling. We've taken in, I don't know, I want to say another 10 or 12 since last week. A lot have come in. We've got lots of robins. Kathleen Deacon, hello from the Deacon family in Calgary. Woo! Hey, Deacon family, thanks for joining us. Like I said, we're saving the best. They're all great, but the best of the best until tonight. We are going to feature three different species of wild animals. The first one you're going to get to see is a uh, magpie. It's a fledgling. I just saw someone, I got distracted, who's joining from Red Deer, whoever that was from Red Deer, thanks for joining. After the magpie, we're gonna go in and see the cutest little teeny tiny chipmunk, and then grand finale, two deer fawns. So we're moving uh, into a few different spaces tonight, as we did last week. Um, so yeah, that's it. And what are we doing? As I said, we're trying to raise funds for our babies. Um, $30,000 over kind of the summer months. It's about $10,000 um, a month for food and supplements and nutrients and vitamins and all that stuff. So again, Mel would have popped in the chat our 50-50. That I believe is at 12,300, 12,400. So that runs until uh, this Friday, 9 p.m. We will do the draw on Saturday and the winner will be announced on Saturday as well. Um, so make sure you get your tickets, tell your family and friends. The first 10 donors starting right now of $25 or more all the way until 9 p.m. tonight via that dedicated donation link that Mel will be or will have uh, popped into the chat for you already. Um, we'll get sent a special thank you gift. This is not, you know, a t-shirt or a hat. It's something that you can only get 
from um, donating to our wildlife baby shower. And then the top three donors of the full baby shower, so that's from when we first started until this Friday, top three donors will be sent an extra, extra, extra special um, limited edition uh, gift full of wildlife photos. And like I said last week, it's not a calendar. Hey, Archie and Lib are here. Ooh, I see their names. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. All right. I think people want to see some animals. Brianna's wait, waiting patiently to my left, looking at me like, hurry up, Becky, you're talking too much. <laughs> um, so I'm going to flip over to Brianne. Do, 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 do. Hey, Brianne, how's it going? It's going really well. I'm really looking forward to going through and taking all of you with me on a day in the life of with a rehabber as we go through and see some of our babies in care this Awesome. Now, I don't know if everyone can notice we have a little like microphone, like speaker situation happening. Don't know, guys, is it is it a bit louder than the beginning or last year? Hopefully it is. Um, it's it's tough to make uh, our, our voices loud out here because we do have patients. All right. Like I said, first animal we're going to see is a uh, magpie fledgling. Uh, what's the story, Brianne? So this little guy came to us um, orphaned. Unfortunately, his mom and dad were no longer taking care of him. So when he was brought to us, he was moderately dehydrated and in pretty rough shape. Um, after our medical team and our wildlife rehabilitator team took a look at him, we started him on aggressive fluid therapy, and he has recovered quite nicely. Um, so at this stage, he's very bright and alert. He's eating very well, and he's looking really good. Okay, and when we go in, what are we going to be feeding this evening? So as our black-billed magpies are scavengers and omnivores, we'll be feeding a kind of mixed diet that we offer here in captive care to try and mimic that natural victory. So we do offer a variety of worms, egg, um, sometimes we'll offer some high-protein soaked cat kibble or dog kibble, as well as a variety of berries and sometimes even some veg. Um, we do keep it pretty high on the protein side of things as he is still a juvenile and still developing. Awesome. And behind you, I see a sign that says trailer one. Um, I'm going to flip over to me. We're going to walk over here. But uh, do you want to let us know, Bran, why are we in trailer one? So we are in trailer one. Actually, we can just I'm do it this sure way. Heard, oh, yeah, that works. Hi, yeah. <laughs> as I'm sure you've heard of our avian influenza virus. Um, unfortunately, with our cordids, like our magpies, they are highly susceptible which means that during their quarantine period, we are monitoring them very closely for any signs and symptoms that could be indicative of avian influenza. Um, so we keep them in a quarantine period for the first few weeks, month of care um, to make sure that they don't start to exhibit symptoms and that they are perfectly healthy. And this helps keep the other patients that we do currently have in care safe, as well as any wild birds that might be kind of coming by our facility and in the area. Awesome. All right, I'm going to flip around to me. Brianna is going to take us into trailer one. So she's going to have to get fully PPE'd up. I'm going to have to get a mask on and whatnot um, just to prevent, you know, a lot of light in here. So, right? Just to prevent the spread of, you know, any kind of viruses and just, you know, to look after the health and safety of our patients. So Brianna is getting her her gown on her booties on it's backwards oh my gosh laura king is watching hey laura i just saw hannah sandrin join hey hannah nice to see you again um i see mel is putting in tons of info about the magpie and how interesting they are uh brianne did mention that we feed them things like you know kibble and and cat food, dog food. Um, when you see those call outs on our Facebook, then when you often will, it's often corvids um, that eat it, ravens, crows, magpies, uh, skunks. Uh, so we're often, often putting call outs for um, those types of food. Hey, Steph Dunn, how's it going? Where are you watching from? All right, we're getting some masks. I'm gonna get my mask on and then Sorry about this, guys. We are going to go in again, standard wildlife uh, rehab protocol, silence, we'll be quiet, and then we'll come back out, do a bit more talking, and then move on to our next two. All right, you ready, Brianna? All right, here we go flipping around to you.
give him one more bone and we'll head out. Maybe I'm stressing him out. stressing him out, which is fine. Brianne can come back at a later date, uh, not a later date, a later hour, <laughs> to give him a bit more food. I hope everyone noticed um, the really interesting noises uh, the magpie was making. Mel is in the chat. Mel, you probably, I don't know if you put the information in already, but how many different calls does a magpie have? Brianne, do you know that? Tons. They have tons. And they're all different. They're all amazing. They all mean different things. You know, next time, the next time you guys are out in your yard, have a listen to all the different magpies calls. It's, it's truly amazing. Truly amazing. We have magpies in our tree, in our house, or next to our house, with robins and uh, house sparrows. And there's been a battle of turf over the past few days in my backyard. And all the different calls have just been absolutely amazing. All right, thanks, Brianne. Flipping back to you. That was good. I think maybe a bit nervous because I was in there. And I'm just going to flip over to myself for one second. I want you to adjust your um, mic. Something I forgot to say as I was coming out is just why do we do this every year at this time? It's, you know, A, because we have, you know, five, six times the number of patients. Why? Because it's baby season. Babies are being born. So we have all these animals coming through, but also it's really a fantastic opportunity for you guys, our supporters, to be able to see so many wild animal babies up close, something that you would not get to see in the wild. So, you know, we really like to, to share what we do here at Calgary Wildlife um, with, all of our, with all of our supporters. All right, thanks, Brian. great. So, back to you. Um, that was baby one. Baby two, as I said, is a chipmunk. What's the story? So we're going to see that, and then after that we have two fawns. Tell us a bit about those. So both of our fawns unfortunately did come to us with injuries. The first fawn unfortunately was trapped in a hole. Um, so she did come in with some pretty minor facial contusions um, and some fur loss. The second fawn came to us after being chased by a dog into the barbed wire fence. So when we do go into feed, you'll see some wounds that are still in the early stages of healing. Builder. So for any of you that may be a little bit squeamish, you might see some recent scabs and some wounds on that nose face. All right, Brianne, is your volume all the way up? People are saying, Brianne, we can't hear you. Oh, sorry. You know what? Is this better? I don't know. Brianne is just a, a soft-spoken individual. So, okay, that's great. Um, did I ask you what we're feeding the deers? I can't remember now. No, you haven't. Okay. Last year, we were in feeding deers, I remember, and we talked about the expensive formula that they eat, and are they still eating that? today and is it still as expensive? We do still feed a highly specialized milk replacer formula to all of the crazy mammals that we have in here, including our deer farms. Um, it is quite expensive as we do ship it in here from the States. Um, it is a specialized company that does develop it, so it's not something that you can readily buy commercially or just purchase on the shelf. Awesome. All right, I'm going to flip back to myself. In case you missed some of that, um, Bran was saying that one of our fawns, let's start walking over Bran, yeah. one of our fawns um, has some injuries to, is it a he or a she? Yeah. His head. Um, so yeah, they're not terribly gruesome, but just be prepared for that. But you know, that's in the wildlife rehabilitation and vet medicine world, um, the sort of things that we have to deal with on a daily basis. So what we're doing now is we're going through the back of our clinic 
We're going to be going through a few different spaces. Um, first thing we have to do is catch up the chipmunk. Uh, you can go ahead first, Brienne, actually. Catch up the chipmunk um, and get him into our exam area where we're going to be feeding him. Uh, and then we will head into a separate area where our two deer fawns are. Um, again, we're going to be a little bit quieter just because of, you know, standard wildlife rehab protocol, voices down, all that sort of stuff. But we'll be going through kind of a, uh, you know, different small areas in the clinic. Um, we might run into rehabbers or, or whatever else is going on. So I'm going to step in, um, st step in the foot bath again to sanitize my feet as we always do because of avian influenza. <laughs> Um, and we're gonna get right to it. So here we are coming into the back. I'll just show you. So in Calgary Wildlife, we have dedicated um, footwear for each enclosure, but we also have these foot baths that essentially kill our, the bacteria and the germs and all that sort of stuff. All right, so we're on you now, Brianne, heading down the hallway. So this is our hospital. We're heading into our exam room. This is actually the nursery where lots of our babies are kept, baby birds. Heading through our exam room. And Brian's getting her PP on and the carrier to catch up the chipmunk. Let's go. There goes the microphone. That's okay. Brian, we'll just have to speak loud. <laughs> All right, we're gonna shut the doors. So this is the exam room where all of our exams take place. All right. So I'm gonna whisper. Brian's gonna test the milk on her wrist just like a baby make sure it's not too hot. One of our rehabbers prepared that for us just a few minutes ago to save time.
said, aww, so cute. Tammy Lindbergh said, aww. <laughs> Was that not the cutest thing ever? All right. As I said, we're saving the best shower for last. They're all good, but we have three species tonight. And our final species is the mule. Is it a mule or a whitetail? Mule. mule deer fawn. So we have two right behind the door in front of me. Dan's getting our gloves on. They're eating formula. So if you haven't seen a mule deer before, or any kind of deer fawn, they're super tiny, adorable. Again, we're gonna be super silent. Um, the feeding shouldn't take too long. And then a bit more for me, and that will sort of be it for um, this year's baby shower. So Brianna's is just getting her formula checked on her wrist like she did for the chipmunk. Um, and if, you, if you're just joining us, uh, one of the fawns has a few injuries to its head, so just it's not terribly gory, but just, just so you're aware. All right, are we ready? Yeah, All right, let's go in, and I'm going to be quiet. Heading out. 
because I just got a notification my battery is about to die. I got stuck in a corner just there <laughs> with the bonds in the, having me in a corner so I couldn't move. So I hope you saw that. What Brienne was doing, she was kind of stimulating the first fawn um, to go to the washroom after he ate, because that's what mother, um, mummy fawn, or mummy deer would do. So um, as we're heading out, just to give you a bit of context around our busy summer season, you know, every month um, our staff put in around 2,000 hours a month. Uh, our volunteers put in, you know, roughly 500 hours of volunteer hours that's in the clinic, that's pickup driving, um, all different areas, you know, uh, construction, uh, uh, gardening, things like that. Um, we get about 400 calls a week on our hotline, um, which is tons. We have some great staff on our hotline, and I'm just heading out the front door. And oh, I'm being blinded by the light. I'm just going to walk somewhere where it's not so bright. Um, hundreds and hundreds of animals every, every month. Um, you know, and the thousands that we take in every year. So that means that we need your support in the summer months right now, the whole year round, but especially in the summer um, more than ever. So our 50-50, Mel would have popped that in the chat. Uh, last we checked, it was around 12,300. Get your tickets, family, friends, pester them until they get them, please. Um, that runs until Friday at 9 p.m. We will contact you on Saturday, whoever the winner is. Um, dedicated donation link in the chat below that Mel would have popped in a few times. Uh, again, the first 10 donors of $25 or more um, from 7 p.m. tonight until 9 p.m. tonight will be sent a special thank you gift in the mail. Top three donors of the full baby shower, so from when we started until this Friday, will get an extra, extra, extra special limited edition um, gift. You can only get it from donating at the shower with some really gorgeous wildlife photos. And like I said, it's not a calendar. What else can you do to support? You can sign up for our email updates, uh, like all of our socials, you know, good old fashioned uh, word of mouth. Tell your family and friends to support us and you know, all the work we do here at Calgary Wildlife. Um, yeah, and that's about it. Thank you everyone for joining us. I wanted to spend or send a special thank you to all of our really hardworking staff, volunteers especially during the summer months thank you to everyone who tuned in this summer um, for the five weeks to join us during the baby shower thank you for supporting for donating um, for getting your raffle tickets all of that um, yeah and that's about it we appreciate all of our supporters please keep spreading the word about what we do in Calgary um, and just you know how much it costs um, for us to keep the clinic doors open. Sally Fergstock, thank you very much for supporting us. So good luck to whoever or to all of you who bought tickets again and we'll contact the winner on Saturday. You're welcome, Gail Hearns, and thank you. So uh, from everyone at Calgary Wildlife, I'd like to say thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your weekend or your week if you're going stampeding. Enjoy the stampede, enjoy your summer, and hey, we'll see you same place, same time next year for the 2024 baby shower. Thank you so much, everyone. From all of us at Calgary Wildlife, signing off.